because I know you're into like zombies and stuff. Mm-hmm. And so I read it. And I got the the huge graphic novel, and I'm like, this is freaking amazing. It is. It's going the reverse way because we're always focused on the zombies. But you're inside of how they're dealing with living with it. That's this right. is really good. Because the real bad guys are ourselves. Yeah. How do we handle this? And we hurt each other. But then all of a sudden they're all like, AMC announces The Walking Dead coming. Do, 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 do. The music. So excited. I was like, oh my God. Oh my. I kept telling everybody, I'm like, dude, this is coming. This is and then all of a sudden everybody goes, oh, my, this is the greatest thing. If you're, And then like Brandon, who never read the comic book, goes, oh, I got to go buy the comic books. Right. It's so good. Remember about the Michonne doll with Brandon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it went on and on and on with that. But 2010 was a great year. I remember it came out. It was amazing. And yeah. then 2011, they finally brought in the governor, and I was all excited about that. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's get into some uh, other news. Let's get into an interview, actually. Let's... Uh, Olivia... Yeah. Olivia Hack. Uh, she played Cindy Brady. Now she's I, pretty short, right? She's 5'2". Yeah, you know, she's short. Well, you see the pictures holding me. She was cr- had this crazy dress on. It looked awesome. Now, did she talk about... Because she, she's the daughter of Michael Hack, who is known for Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within. And- no, we did not. We focused on her, and I said, you know what? Everybody always talks to you and wants to talk about the Brady Bunch movie. I said... Olivia, can we not talk about that? And she gave me a hug. She goes, oh, thank God. <laughs> thank you so much. I don't want to talk about that. She also owns, but she doesn't own anymore, a place called Salon or Salon Atmosphere. Did you ask her in Long Beach? Yeah, I really asked her about her salon. No, we were focused on her voice work. Let's get an interview with her. You know, for the ladies out there. Or and, some of the gents. You know, Olivia's, we're, we're on social media. So, Olivia, if you get a chance, we'd like to come out to your salon. Does she own it anymore? No, no, no. She doesn't anymore. Oh, okay. Oh. Is it a salon or is it a massage parlor? Because <laughs> Oh, my I, God. Because I don't want to go. like the Patriots. I don't want to walk in there with the coach of the Patriots. I mean, the owner of the Patriots. Oh, my God. Did, did you hear what happened with the San Francisco Giants, too? Oh, I don't want to get into that. <laughs> oh, yes, my God. What's Let's up, get into the interview. We'll come right back. You ready? Ready? Oh, yes. Great. Great. And I'm with Olivia Hack. Hey, how's it you know, going? Am I seeing that exactly right? Well, I I hope so. <laughs> I, I want to make sure, because I always make sure things. Now, I, I was going to, everybody probably knows you for a movie you did, but I don't even care about that movie. It's your, I love you for that. It's the voiceover work you've done. And I was like, I was, so my boss goes, hey, go talk to her, go talk to her. I had to print this out because... Let me start here. PJ Sparkles. Oh my gosh. Life yeah. with Louie. Yeah. Rocket Power. Yeah. As told by Ginger. Kids from Room 402. Rugrats is all grown up. Fillmore. Astro Boy. Hey Arnold. Family Guy. Blood. Avatar. Ben 10. Care Bear. Star Wars. Clone Wars. Care Bear and Cousins. Star- the list goes you on and on. You just went chronological on that. <laughs> Love it. Okay. <laughs> so, so how from acting to this, this is some amazing stuff. Oh, now, thank you. Now while everybody's probably listening to this interview, Olivia Hack is there a website or is there something we can still there's cons- not a website but I'm Facebook Instagram oh. all that stuff we, you got, know. we have to get a website for you with all chronological everything you've done that's over. what IMDB is for right I know but you want your own <laughs> stuff so so let me let me ask you something so let's 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 get back to the beginning okay and I, I, I know you probably you started as a child actor correct I did I was a child actor um, for really about 10 years from like the age of one on and then I did Brady Bunch yeah um, and that kind of you know put me in a different thing different sphere um, and then from there it just kind of well I guess two years after Brady Bunch I started doing Hey Arnold uh-huh. um, and Hey Arnold was huge Hey Arnold was huge, huge. and it, it's so funny because you know I we did all these shows like pre-internet and so you don't realize they're huge yeah. you know you go okay well I'm, I'm we're still doing seasons so people much must like it and whatever but now later yeah. with the internet and comic cons and things you realize like what a big deal stuff was um, in people's childhood childhoods and that's pretty awesome so Olivia do people come up to you and go oh I remember you did this I remember you did that or is the voice thing kind of separate do they not really know that um you know, diehard voice and animation people do. Yeah. Um, as today, we've had some super diehard people. Um, That's good. Yeah, it is good. Um, Avatar and Hey Arnold are the big ones where people just really lose their, your assistant's nodding at Avatar right now. Um, <laughs> kind of lose their minds over He's not an um, assistant, he's just hanging out. Okay. It, yeah, I'm, um, I'm not paying him. So <laughs> you say that, I'm going to have to pay him. Your friend. <laughs> um, huh. But yeah, it's it's been really cool. I'm super fortunate. This is amazing. People don't realize, and, and if, coming from acting to voice acting, people are like, oh my God, 
oh, I want to be an actor again. I'm like, oh my God, there's a lot of talent that goes into this and yeah. people just don't realize that. And that is forever. Film is forever, but this is forever too. These well, cartoons you've done. It's an interesting thing that you mentioned. People a lot of times will come up to me, which they don't when yeah. you're uh, an on-camera actor and say, I want to be a voice actor. Oh, yeah. You know, and like your plumber and stuff, which is cool. Um, and I think there's some sort of thought that goes into it where it's not really acting. You just yeah. kind of make a bunch of funny voices and, and whatnot. Yeah. Um, but it is acting. And that's kind of the first thing I say to people when they say, well, how do I be a voice actor? It's like, well, take an acting class. It, th- that is true. Yeah. Cause a lot of it too, especially when you're in a booth and working and stuff, um, is people, you know, maybe you have three words to say, but they want you to say it 50 different ways. Mm-hmm. And so it's kind of that weird technique. Now there's great things about it. Um, voice acting as opposed to on camera acting where it's like you don't have to learn lines yes right um, there's a lot of technical things um, so let me ask you a question yeah. when you're in the booth do, yeah. you, do you mark your copy yeah oh absolutely oh you, I love yeah. you there's some no? some voice actors I'm like do, do you mark your copy they're like no they just walk in I'm like you gotta mark your copy yeah you gotta put your little squeagles and yeah. all this right, okay I just yeah. wanna know you're part of the clique that marks your copy oh, okay good. continue okay. on alright no I'm you're in, in a, you're in a cool click. you're in a good clique okay, you're a good I'll, click. I'll take it um, <laughs> and yeah and then with on camera acting there's a yeah. lot of things where the people don't think of like you know you're having to hit them, your mark you're yes. having to find your light when you hit your mark yes. you're having to make sure you pour that glass of water at the exact same time so that the continuity matches which you know kind of can take you out of it so uh-huh. with voice acting a lot of it um you're really in it more, which is kind of fun. Okay. Um, Star Wars. Yeah. Let's get into that. The Clone Wars on stuff like that. How did that come Let's upon you? It. Did they approach you or No. Did you? So for everything, you just kind of audition for the most part. Um, with Clone Wars, um, that was really cool. Uh, when I booked that, uh, Dave Filoni, who does the Clone Wars, yeah. um, he well first off I watched and I had seen them but I watched them all back to back all the movies you fell asleep okay yeah no <laughs> okay one I'm, and two are not so I'm kidding I'm kidding I'd I'm actually kidding never you. seen three was kind of the one I'd never seen and that one is the best of the newer Are you talking about the movies itself yeah yeah the best because you yeah. know I like to see I, I like origin stories right so yeah. Darth Vader and yeah. seeing how all that came together um, but the cool thing with Clone Wars well back to Dave Filoni when you get there there's such reverence and Dave basically says look I am the direct link to George Lucas ask me anything ask me whatever you want and you know and he'll do things he'll give you some direction like remember in this little scene in episode four where Luke says it and you're like whoa okay and and do it like that so you're like all right so you have to kind of know your yeah. stuff too um and I mean he just tells great stories of George and things he has said and you know that he'll take him into a screening room and okay. show him some movie from 1942 That's and be great. like, "I want this war scene to look like this, or this battle scene to look He's like." He's very that. known for that. He's super into it. Um, but with Clone Wars, that was supposed to be a uh, a series. Yeah. So that was a pilot. Mm-hmm. It was going to be spun off, and then Disney bought it, um, and they had a budget and everything. And Disney said, "We're not going to do any." Um, Star Wars projects that don't directly hook up to the movies. Yeah. Um, but I think it would have been a great show only because, um, you know, we see a lot of like uh, Jedis that start from kind of 20, year old, 20 years old on. And so to kind of see that origin of how it begins and okay. whatever. And also, Clone Wars is very adult. Yeah. So to have a show. Well, you know it's back kids, on again, right? It is. They're it's bringing back it back. On. They're right? bringing it back yeah, again. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then Kira is super cool too. So that's fun. Okay. So, what project are you working on? I, 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 right now, I have a. Um, I think it's in pre registration. Can we talk about it? Or is it top secret stuff? Is this a movie or is it a voiceover? This is a video game, and I didn't sign an NDA, so I'm going to talk about it. All right, let's talk about it. Um, Because I just did it the other day. I don't know why my spider sense is going off. You said video game, and I feel like Paul's ears just popped up over here. I think it's for your phone. It's called Epic 7. Um, It's like an anime (laughs) game. It's pre registration is starting, I think, Uh just yesterday. Um, Yeah, and it's just an anime battle game. I. From what I've seen, right? Because I just do the voice. Um, But it looked pretty cool. It's from Korea. uh, How long was the sit-down for this one? 
for uh, that game. Yeah, voice in it. Just knocked it out in a day. Are you kidding me? Yeah. No, because, oh, I mean, you can knock out I 500 lines in a day. Well, you, hire you. you know. Then you'll be the next series. We'll knock it out okay. one day for you. Let's okay. Is that, is that work? Works for, for me. I don't think you can get it all done <laughs> one day. All right. Olivia Hack, thank you so much for joining awesome. me. Thank you. I know you love coming. These Comic Cons, you love coming out I to? I love Comic Cons. I want to see you yeah. at more of them. Thank you. And then I'm going to, my bosses, I always present voices every week. Okay. I know I probably have to go to your studio, but uh, your agents and stuff like that. Uh, I got two of the voiceover people that I hired. One from Pokemon. Awesome. She's one of our voices for TuneIn. Awesome. I got her to do a station in LA. One oh, of our sta- yeah. So I I'll, love that. I'm going to uh, look online and I'm going to bug you for your demo. I would and I'm going to try that. to put that. I'm try- I always yeah. try to get everybody high. Yeah. Are you, you on Facebook? Oh, yeah. I'm Just a- send me a message on Facebook. Oh, you're going to see it. And you're yeah. going to go. You're going to see all these pictures of. You'll see it. You're going to go, geez, this guy is a geek, a I nerd. Love no, no, I love it. I-, I love you so much. Thank you so much. So at Olivia. Hack is that how we find you on social media? Um, I'm Olivia Hack One on Instagram. That's what I needed and, to know. Uh, I'm good Olivia Hack on Twitter, which I rarely use, okay. and then on Facebook you can just yeah, I'm Olivia Hack. You'll I, find me. I love it. All right, thank you so much. <laughs> awesome. And that is Olivia Hack. If you want to find out more about her, uh, click on the little icons we have on the our website, your nerd site. Got all her social media handlings, and uh, she wanted us to. You know, as she says, as soon as I'm on the air, please tell me. And I said, all right. All so right. Um, I'm going to give you an estimate, okay? Two an billion. Estimate? Two billion in worldwide. Two billion. In what? Who do you think made $2 billion? A lot of people, but not us. Uh, a movie. Oh, I think it something was. with Marvel. Yeah. Infinity Wars. That's the first one. Yeah. It made $2 billion. Now, that is. That is that was just, the record? No, that was $20 million short of Star Wars The Force Awakens. Yeah, that's what I was about to yeah, say. Yeah, The Force Awakens. So, so The Force Awakens. My Marvel. Just, okay, so we'll break down some estimates. What they are, this is for the end game, Avengers end game, all right? Uh, box over record, they say $300 million in ticket sales opening weekend alone. They expect that. It's very, very high. They expect it to be, you ready for this? $6 billion. Two billion was Infinity, six billion Endgame. This is their thing. And your thoughts? Um, I say four billion. I think it's a little too much. You think it's too much? Yeah, especially since I download all my movies. <laughs> Good lord! So speaking about Glass, who has the record this week of one hundred and eight. Glass is number one. Yeah, for the, uh, for twenty nineteen domestic grosses, number one is for twenty nineteen. Wow. Good is for them. I, Glass I got bad reviews. Well, Avita. someone didn't take me. And Avita, Avita. I, I was going to. I just read an article. Mm-hmm. Amazing from all the critics' bad reviews and Rotten Tomatoes and all that good stuff. How it's actually climbing up right now, making its money. Money. It's making yeah. all its money back. Yeah, right now, glass. Oh, and and, and well, I know I interrupt you. That's all right. I'm interrupt you. Unusual. Go ahead, go ahead. It's okay. It was thank that you. Important. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But hold on, hold on. Yeah, one more yeah, yeah. Thought. One, one more thought. thought. One more thought. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Excuse me. Excuse me. I have to eat a cashew. Go ahead. go ahead. Welcome to intermission. Glass, the upside, uh, the Lego Movie Two, the second part, How to Train Your Dragon, the Hidden World. Didn't even know that was out. Seventy four million, uh, but you know one movie which no one's talking about. But you, I think you and I know that was a good movie, um, The Battle Angel, Alita. That's what I just said. I I don't know. You're eating a cashew. I can't understand a word you're saying. I said that it, she's growing at the box office. keeps keeps growing and growing and growing. And next week's the last week you can actually see it on IMAX. If you're going to see it, they're going to pull it out. So this is the last week. But are you a fan of IMAX? No, you're not. No, nah, it's, it's too expensive. <laughs> too expensive. If I want to see something that big. I got plenty to look at. You know what I'm saying? You and you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so yeah, so Star Wars: The Force Awakens made nine hundred and thirty-six million. That's for uh, Mojo Box Office. But you Did said really? more than that. That's what I got my numbers. That's over. Okay, so right now I'm well, at you, Box we're talking, Office. We're Mojo. talking worldwide, though. Uh, it Globally. just says overall records, so that's all it says. Um, right. um, but you know what made adjusted for inflation? You know what made bigger if we adjusted it? It would be uh, oh I, okay that's domestic for Star Wars. Adjusted for inflation is Gone with the Wind, which is one billion eight hundred twenty-five, and then worldwide no 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 I knew it wasn't Star Wars. It is Avatar, two hundred 
two billion seven hundred and eighty seven thousand. And that's where I'm curious of Alita because there is Rodriguez, James Cameron was involved in this. Um, so yeah. So we'll see. And we'll see. There's a lot of like different sequels because there's even regular Lion King. Lion King 2 is coming out. I don't think it's going to be rated G. But yeah. Did you say Dumbo too? Dumbo's not even out yet. I know, but do you know, I, do you think Dumbo's going to do